Okie dokie, good evening ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Oxygen, not included. Right, we are in a general pickle, I have, uh, I have decided. So, I believe the solution to our problem is oil, as I have, uh, I've been having a quick look around the research tree, and I have decided that if we could find an oil reservoir, we could build an oil well, which would extract crude oil. And then we turn that into petroleum and natural gas. And then we use the natural gas to produce power and the petroleum to produce electricity and raw plastic. So I think an oil reservoir would solve pretty much all of our problems. The only problem with finding an oil reservoir is I don't know where one is. And I'm going to have to expand out into other areas in order to find one, which is going to be uh, quite problematic for me, shall we say quite problematic indeed. So, my other thoughts as to how to solve this problem, because we've only got a tiny bit of coal left, my other thoughts as to how to solve this problem um, is to bring in more people. Because we, we've got this second farm up and running, nearly. Uh, what's wrong with these? They need illumination. Okay, that's because they can't actually access any of this, isn't it? Which I was an idiot and didn't realise. Yeah, they need to cut through all of that. Uh, let's just priority six that, please, if you don't mind. Just so they get on there the same right as they get on with everything else. Um, I think if we bring in more people, we might have a solution to this because we've got more food growing now. We've got plenty of oxygen. We've got pretty much overpressurized oxygen at the time. Most of the time, anyway. What, what, what priority is this? Can we make this a priority seven, please, so that everyone actually has a bed? Um, yeah, six beds. Okay, good. Um... Yes, more people, because with when these inevitably run out of power, and they will because we've only got a little bit of coal left, when they inevitably run out of power, we will need to be producing power via manual generators. And I think that with people, more people, we could possibly uh, begin to solve that problem. What's up with madness? Low oxygen, full bladder, low morale, pop deer drums. See, they're getting pop deer drums from the high pressure in many areas, you see. There's high pressure in many areas which they're not liking. They don't like that because it, it, it hurts them and it increases their stress and it reduces their morale. So if we have more people, uh, which we're not going to get for another two and a half days it would seem, that might possibly help because they'd be drinking up some more of the oxygen and that would reduce the pressure, and then it wouldn't matter that there were people, um, it wouldn't matter that there were people running on the machines all the time, because we'd have more people to operate them, so we'd have more people doing other jobs at the same time, if that makes any sense at all, which it probably doesn't, but never mind. Oh, sheesh, these are almost completely full. Oh, in that case, we should probably build some more of those, shouldn't we? Okay, 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 okay. Right. Oh, wait. Yeah, this stuff's still starting to grow up. Okay, so to find an oil well, we're going to have to expand, you see, into a new area. But I don't know which way to go. The most sensible way, I think, would be to go south, because south seems to be the coldest. You see, I don't know any geography, and I don't know any geology, so I don't really understand where one is likely to find an oil well, you see. Oh, and everything's overloading. C can this... Oh, this, oh no, it's the wire that's overloading. I thought it was the battery that was overloading. Okay, sorry. Um, I don't know which way to go. The most logical way to go, I think, would be south, because south is the coldest region. See, look, down here, it's only like 28 degrees. And our base is a standard about 25 degrees, versus if we go up here, all this chlorine is, we're going to areas that are like 40 plus, which I think is going to be very dangerous to us. Very dangerous indeed. Oh, dear. And these still have not been... Not been... A solved problem because the oxygen is just not getting in here. I think it's just purely for the, the very simple reason that the oxygen rises. Which has been my 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 fault for building them down here. I should not have done that. Also something else that I thought would be fantastic. If there could be a night shift. Like I've got six people. If I could have three of them working during the day and three of them working at night. Wow, things would change. I think. <laughs> I think they'd change, but no promise on that. Can we get this deconstructed bit so we can build a high pressure vent place? Can we, can we get these kicked to a higher priority place? There we are. Okay, so we've got 
where are they? Like high pressure vents we have at some point. What? Oh, did I not research them? Oh gosh, give me a second, I'll find them again. Where are you? I saw you somewhere last time we played. Where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Ah, we're, we're very nearly done. Okay, that's fantastic. That's very nearly done. Just need to uh, research. Yeah, research on six. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Okay, that's fine. Um, that's fine. Cancel deconstruct. Yes, definitely. I don't need to deconstruct um, the pipes. I just want to deconstruct the vents. That's what I wanted in the first place. Okay, oh gosh, this has been blocked up hard digging again. How many diggers did we have in the end? We have two. Okay, that's not too bad then. So at least it's not just Lindsay that has to do it. Which is something, I suppose. I've also realised that I should have built these bristle blossoms on the right, because obviously they're the ones that didn't get light first. So these are going to take a little while for them to actually get uh, ready again. But never mind. What? What's this then? Storage unavailable. Oh, because these are all these are all full. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I can live with them. Okay, so we'll just we'll just sit back and we'll let them run from it. Ah, no, we won't because we've now got the high pressure gas valve, which requires refined metal, which we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> okay, didn't we make a metal fixer thingy? Inefficiently produces refined materials from raw materials. I don't like the fact that you said inefficiently. That does not encourage me. Okay, let me see if I can find something a bit more efficiently. Smelting. Here we are. Smelting. Metal refinery produces refined metals from raw materials. Uh, significantly heats and outputs liquid piped into it. Ah, oh, so we need a piping system for that. That doesn't sound fun. Also sounds like it's going to require a lot of power. Automation. Oh, gosh, no. Automation. I don't, I don't think I have the brain power to work out automation. Certainly not right now. Okay, never mind. Let's just, we'll just let them run for a minute. We'll just let them run and um, do their own things. And hopefully we'll, we'll start to we'll slowly start to make some progress on all this. Oh, yeah. I also realised something else while I was... Ah, plop, 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 plop. Stop a second. Yes, I also saw something else when I was editing last video. <laughs> Remember when I got really scared because there was a hole here in the pipe? I didn't notice there was another hole here. Which means this one hasn't been working, which is why this pipe is full of water and this this um, uh, this shower hasn't been operational. Which, unless I'm very much mistaken, this is Lindsay's bed. If I can click on it, thank you. No, that's Travaldo's bed. Okay, that's fine. I thought that was Lindsay's bed. Um, no, it must be that one that's Lindsay's bed, yeah. Because I put Lindsay in the one that had the most oxygen. Not that it's helped anymore, because now they're breathing nothing but gas. Hmm. But yeah, anyway, I, I realised that was that was a that was a bit of a problem that I'd 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 made. But anyway. So that's beside the point. That's just me showing you once again that I am a complete lunatic. So to be honest with you, if anybody was watching my videos and didn't think I was a complete lunatic, I'd be a bit, I'd be a bit concerned, to be honest with you. Just so that we're... Uh, I really do not like this, I really don't like this. What if I... I'm, I'm just, I'm just I'm going to brainstorm some ideas for a minute here, if I can ever find the power overlay. There it is. I'm going to brainstorm some ideas here for a minute, um, and, and, and feel free to think that I'm a complete lunatic while I do. Where's the majority of our power focus? There's a lot of it in pumps. Pumps take a lot. Pumps take twice as much as a supercomputer. Wow, that is a lot. Um, pumps take an awful lot of power. A shockingly large amount of power. See, what if I... What if I change this system a bit, right? What if I change this system? What if I, like, severed the piping, or the, 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 oh, no, I can't, because this one, oh, no, I can, that, is, that isn't connected down there, I thought that was connected, no, that's the piping system. What if I basically cut a line through the cables, straight down the middle like that? If I cut through here, no, because that would still leave the vast majority of it in here. That would only really cut off a couple of lights, the grill, and the machines. 
Hmm. So I'm just trying to think of a way that I could maybe isolate the power system. Like maybe move the coal generator to the side and then maybe have the batteries in the middle. And then basically have the batteries in the middle and the coal generators on the side. And then have, have them come off two separate ones, you see. So then one generator would go down this side and one generator would go down that side. So they're on separate circuits. Maybe. So then instead of all the power coming down this one power cable only half of it would come down this cable and the other half of it would go down that cable. So maybe if I cut off like here, here and then maybe there and there and there and then connected this up here so that all like all these pumps and all of this and all of this stuff was all working off one generator and then all these lights and all of this stuff and then all the future stuff that's going to be operating in here like this metal refinery can be running off the second one yeah i don't think that is the worst idea i've ever had in my life it's probably going to be a very very dangerous idea that's going to cause a lot of problems in the long run but i think it's going to be a good idea but i mean is it even worth doing if we don't have any coal Possibly not. Possibly it's a very stupid idea because if we run out of coal soon, there's going to be no point in having these generators here at all. In fact, yes, I think that idea has just... Um, that idea, that, that thought has just come into my mind that it's going to be pretty pointless doing that if, um, in reality, all that's going to do is... Uh, if all that's going to do is is basically going to fix a problem that we're not going to end up having because we're not going to actually have a a um, don't do that. um we're going to try basically we'd be trying to solve a problem that we're not going to have because we're going to run out of coal very soon in fact we're probably already run out of coal haven't we yeah we're already down to 2800 kilograms Oh good, what was that, the research we were doing? The research we were doing was on something, I've already forgotten what it was. Give me a second, I'll find it. It wasn't that, we'd already done that. Was it on, oh yeah, it was on the metal refined, wasn't it? Yes, good, so now we've got this, good, so now we can hopefully start making some refined metal, which would hopefully benefit us one way or the other. Um, see, I would get the high capacity cable, the problem is that you can't run it through walls and floors. Which I don't think will be the end of the universe, because I could just like run it... I could run it down, and because it doesn't say you can't run it through doors. I could like run it along, just like along here maybe. Or maybe like along, along the roofs. The roofs. Whatever you want to say. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. What other stuff is in here? Uh... Heavy watt joint plate. If I can just, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Limits power flowing through transformer to 1000 watts. Uh, that's an automation thing, that's an automation thing, concerns hydrogen for electrical power. That might be useful to have at a later day. I don't know where, I don't know what hydrogen is really. Um, what I mean, I don't know what it is. Oh, there's hydrogen. I was just thinking, because I've never seen any hydrogen. Here it is. It would appear that it's kind of, it would appear to go at the top of the, um, so chlorine goes down and hydrogen goes up basically in this, this particular situation. Hmm, curious. Okay, this is nearly done, which is good. This is nearly done. Just looking out to see if I can find any other supplies of coal. There's a tiny bit more coal up there. So I'm just keeping my eyes open for any coal I can find. That's fertilizer, that's not very high priority. Because we've got something making fertilizer out of bad water. And frankly, we have enough bad water at the minute that we don't really need to be expending our resources looking for more. We kind of have all that we need at the minute, and even when we run out, we've still got a bit more here. Okay, and our food supply is going up. So I think we could, what's my oxygen generation like? Uh, oxygen generation, 35 kilograms, a little bit, a little bit. Not really enough to bring in another person though. Um, we might have to make a couple more algae terrariums. Speaking of algae terrariums, how much algae do we actually have? 4,000 kilograms, not an enormous amount, but I don't think it'll be the end of the world when we run out of that because we've got these, where under the sun are they, plumbing? No. 
Yes, here we are, we're fine. Yes, we have these, you see, which turn slime into algae, which would be good, because slime is bad, and algae is good. So we could mine out a bit of this area, bring a load of slime in, build a little sort of refinement station right here, maybe, then dump the bad water it produces into here, which we can then pump into here, to use up for ourselves, to then turn the slime, which we don't want, into the algae, which we do want. So I think, although that is a bit of a problem that we're going to be dealing with in the future, I'm not enormously concerned about that right now. What I am concerned about is this stuff. Because this heavily heats the water. Hmm. What does it need? Requirements. Power. What? Requires 1.2 thousand kilowatt? Um, hang on. Um, it needs 1200 units of power? Let me find something that I know how much power it needs. Uh, a pump, a pump, a pump. 240 watts. One point two thousand watts. Oh my giddy aunt. That isn't good. That is a lot of power. And of course that means that if we build one of these we will be con well it's a good thing we're building the heavy wire. That means we will be constantly and I mean permanently above our um, threshold of stuff, uh, our threshold of, of the wires, the wires will constantly be overloading, which is not good, not by any stretch of this lunatic's imagination. Okay, you're destructive, you're a binge, you're a vomiter, I quite like the sound of that. No, that sounded wrong, I don't like the sound of that, I don't like the sound of people vomiting, I prefer it to binge eating and destruction. Because vomiting is a clean-up operation, binge eating is very, very dangerous, and destructive is unbelievably dangerous. Um, you take longer in the bathroom. I couldn't care less how long you take in the bathroom. You're very quick at researching, and your skills level up faster, and you get a germ resistance boost. Liam, I like you. You've got a a confusing haircut, but you know what? I like you. Get in here. Get in here and start solving our problems for us. What do you like? You like digging and medicine, medicerizing. Okay, we'll get you another digger then, because we could use another digger. Particularly when we start expanding out, I reckon we're going to encounter a lot more hard rocks. I reckon that is what we are going to encounter. I should also build uh, a ladder. Yeah. Like, it's just struck me, but that's like really essential that I do that. So that I can actually access this, but uh... Okay, okay. Um, ah, oxygen, yeah. Okay, we'll build a couple more terrariums just for the sake of it. Is there any area that's not particularly breathable? We don't have one up here, which surprises me. Let's build one there. And one there. Just for the fun of it. And why not build a couple down there as well? Because honestly, at this point, why not? I've probably made so many mistakes in this uh, game that it's it, I'm never ever ever going to be able to. Um, I kind of wish I could set my default priority to, to six, if I'm honest, because like, like everything is set to the six at the minute, so it's kind of essential that everything stays at the six. Where our stuff just gets left behind horribly. But um, wow, these get filled up very quickly. Mind you, we have cleared up the vast majority of the stuff I needed clearing up. So that's very that's really good. I can get behind that. I can get behind that indeed, I can. Okay. Okay. I'll just let them run for a minute. I'll just sit back. I won't interfere with their, their jobs. I'll just let them run for a while and just let them get on with their jobs. Research. Hooray! Good, we've now got these, which might possibly help us at some point, although I don't know. See, my plan, possibly, for getting rid of the chlorine... Never mind what I'm doing right there. I'll tell you about that in a minute. My plan, possibly, for the chlorine is basically to bust in with an airlock, 
put a gas pump in there. Drag it. Uh, Max boy, what's going on with you? Go in there. Bust through the wall. Put a gas pump in, and then pump the chlorine into some sort of r r reservoir for it. Maybe that could be useful. I don't know. Do that with. I've got no idea if that's a good idea or not, but maybe. Certainly, if we could get rid of the hydrogen, that'd be lovely. So we can definitely get rid of the hydrogen, and I don't think drinking hydrogen is bad for you. Drinking chlorine, I think, is very bad for you. I don't know much about chlorine, but... Oh, hang on a minute. Heavy wattage power carries more wattage than regular wire without overloading, and carries more wattage than regular power without overloading. What's the difference between those? Heavy watt conductive wire and heavy watt wire. How is conductive wire better? How is conductive wire better? Limits power flowing through to 4,000 kilowatts. Oh, maybe they're like, even stronger, maybe? I don't know. Better wire bridges. Can't explain into power sources. What is conductive wire? I'm going to have to look this up. Sorry, I'm not good at science. I need to know what the word... Con I mean, I know what con conductivity is. It's how, like, well it translates power. But, I mean... Uh, yeah, so conductive means to have the ability to, to move at heat or electricity. Like how water is very electrically conductive, but um, wood isn't, you see. So maybe the idea of this is it does it faster, maybe? I mean, power moves fast anyway. Don't really need it to move faster. I don't know. Let's just get the accursed thing and find out. Okay, right, this. What have I been doing down here? I have been building the, the basic ideas for, for, for this, basically. Because I thought this required refined metal, and it doesn't, it only requires copper, which is basic metal, which is fantastic. Um, oh, Liam's doing research with Lindsay? No, with Travaldo. Right, okay. Max. What's up with Max? And, oh, gosh, I scared it twice. What's up with Max? What's wrong with Max? Low oxygen, low morale, pop the drums. You got a new friend though, so that's nice. Um, wow, these person chit chats and sleeping and appreciate since they don't do much for you, do they? Low morale. Well, if your stress went down, you'd feel more m m moralistic anyway, wouldn't you? Um, yeah, the auction is the problem. It's the pop the eardrums you don't like. So again, it is the high, is the high auction production. Maybe we, should we move into a deficit? Yes. Do you know what? I'm going to make an executive decision. We're going to move into a deficit. We're going to move into a deficit of auction production. We're going to disable. The, the new ones that we produce. We're not going to disable these ones down here, not that they've been built yet, but we're actually going to disable a number of these. Because honestly, honestly, we have too much oxygen. We've got a fair amount of polluted oxygen, which if I'm honest, I don't know where that's come from, but we have got too much pressure. We need to reduce the pressure in this place to get people's eardrums from blowing up constantly. I want to change that. Why are you only on a five? You should be on a seven like the rest of them. If it, uh, I've, I've been getting this done as well, to the best of my ability, in order to try and make a, a sort of a CO2 reservoir kind of thing, in the hope that it will cause all of this carbon dioxide to come down here a bit, and as such allow more oxygen to be staying in here, rather than uh, uh, just going straight up, which I think is the problem, currently. Maybe, I don't know, I've got no idea. I'm a moron. Oh dear, this is what you're doing. Temperature is not bad. Why do I get the impression we're about to run out of coal? Yes, we are. We only have 800 kilograms of coal. Hooray. Hoorah. So, while I've been sitting around doing other jobs, I've been completely forgetting about our whole power problem. I'm curious to see how much of an effect this has, though, to see if it actually does reduce the dust. We don't want to see someone go down it as well, because I reckon that's going to be hilarious to watch. I am going to do actually. I'm going to high prioritise all of that so that at least they've got a little bit of coal which will hopefully delay our problems by another five minutes. Well there's, coal, there's lots of coal up here actually. But the chlorine, the chlorine, the chlorine, the chlorine. I don't know why I'm so scared of the chlorine. I don't know why I'm so scared of the chlorine. Because I don't 
know if it's actually going to be as dangerous as I think it's going to be. Maybe it will be, maybe it won't be, I honestly don't know. But... Oh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's percentages of this that I could get without having to bust into the core in now. Iron ore? Hmm. You know, there's, there's little bits of it that we could get without having to worry too much, I suppose. Maybe. Possibly. This probably isn't a very good idea, if I'm honest. Me trying to um, mine out as much of this as I can without accident. Oh. Not one thing is another. If we're not running out of one thing, we're running out of something else. Okay, let me have a quick look at this. Let me just pause this for a second. Okay, Max, Max is versus going down a bit. That's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, let me have a look at this, this stuff. So this does require refinement. Okay. So how does this differ? Max power, 2,000 kilowatts. Uh, what if we use the heavy watt power. Wow. That has a very bad decor problem. See, they've reduced his decor. This doesn't. What if we... Radical thing here. What if we did this? What if we used the heavy watt power for these central bits? Like all of this stuff here and down here the stuff that isn't going through walls and floors and then for the rest of it we use the conductive wire which would double up the amount of power it can carry for everywhere else I mean that would take a lot of not for this because this doesn't require anything it has a huge decor problem radius of six tiles radius only a one tile there so it would have an absolutely horrendous impact on a decor but it might Oh, is somebody going down there? Oh, is somebody going down there? Oh, wow. He shot down there. We see someone else go down. No, don't go up. Go down. Let's see someone go down. Go on, whoever you are. Go down. Someone go down. Oh, come on, please. Be adorable. Wow, that is a lot faster. Yeah, that is definitely going to reduce the news. Probably not by much. But at this point, I'll take it whatever I can get. Okay. Okay, okay. So... I I do not know if this is a good idea. I probably need to experiment with this, actually. If I, like, build it here, I mean, are they, like, just a tiny bit of it, are they going to deconstruct the old power cables and put new ones in instead? Or is it going to be, like, built on top of it and I need to deconstruct the old stuff first before I can then put it in? I don't know. But let's, let's have a look at it and see what happens. And yes, I know, I know, I'm aware, I am still trying to solve a power problem that we technically don't have when you consider the fact that we are running severely low on anything to actually produce coal in the first place. Ah, okay, we mined this stuff out. Did that help? Yep, well, that gave us a surprisingly large amount, and that was only a little bit. Now we've got some extra skill points. Anybody get a skill point? Stinky, could you get a skill point? Tidying? Urgh, maybe not. No. Uh, Hassan. Probably not. Max. Uh, yeah, let's not give Max anything. Yeah, let's not give anybody anything, actually. Uh, oh, you get astronomy. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, never mind that for the time being. Um, oh, shush about the long commutes. Commutes are slowing. Oh, uh, rather, getting... Oh, Liam. Liam, Liam. I'm sorry, kiddo. I'm sorry. Where are the beds? Where are the... Are you going all the way back over there to go back to sleep? 
You great big goose, you could have just fallen asleep there, you know, no one would have minded. You great goose. I think we are slowly making progress though, we're slowly making this place slightly more habitable than otherwise. Slightly. By the tiniest of margins, I think we're starting to make some progress in this. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Went all the way down in like half a millisecond, it's fantastic. They can still make the jumps across there, can't they? Yeah, I saw some, I saw some people doing that earlier. Okay, that's good. Okay, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, heavy watt power, the old wire is gone. Brilliant! So if we then build this... Like... Around here... Just, just maybe here, I think, for the time being. Just maybe here for the time being, I think. That might solve ourselves some problems. Maybe, possibly, probably not. Can conductive wire be run through floors and walls? Can we run through floors and walls? Yes, but it requires refined metal, which is annoying because I need I need the conductive wire because you see the conductive wire can carry two thousand kilowatts of power, and you see the 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 metal refinery requires twelve hundred, which means I can't connect it via standard pipe, uh, standard wire, or else that wire will constantly break. So I need to connect it via stronger wire, which means I'm going to have to connect it via the heavy watt wire to produce some, uh, some refined metal, and then then use that refined metal to then make the conductive wire to connect it with instead. Basically, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't, because no, and, and nothing I say ever makes any sense. Yes, because you see the the. the the power that's coming through this cable here is not the same as the power coming through this cable. Because you see, the power coming through out of this cable here is enormous. Because it's got to carry it from everything, from these batteries to li these power producers to literally everything. This is different, however, because this has only got to carry the power for these lights, and this has only got to carry the power for these lights. So I think if we make the central stuff, this heavy, this heavy wire, and then the outlying stuff, the lighter wire, it shouldn't be that much of a problem for us. It has probably, as I said, ruined our decor. Ooh, it's got so very red. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, what can we do in terms of that? Do we have anything that might fix that? Not really. Not, not hugely. I guess we can't put these like here, can we? No. Oh god, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about the decor, if I'm honest. Decor is not something I'm good at fixing. I don't quite know how to fix that. Oh, we can get some some stuff. Some brine. Oh, that's the salt water, isn't it? Oh, rust. I don't really want more rust. We want another person. You're both binge eaters, which isn't great. You're good at building, though, and machine operation. You can't cook. You can't dig. But you can cook a wee bit faster. Uh, food morale bonus allows the call to re receive morale boost from lower quality food. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to get the brine. I'm going to get the brine. We're not going to use it right now, but there is something. That we, there's a machine somewhere that takes the, the the salt out of the water. Let me quickly find that. Yeah, here we are. Uh, removes the salt from brine or salt water, producing clean water. So we could turn that into good water. But, I mean, water is not something we have a huge uh, deficit of at the minute. So for the time being, I'm not worried about it. Oh, I didn't sound like such task. Improved plumbing? How is liquid with minimal changes in temperature? That could be nice. Warms large bodies of water. No. Why wow. don't cools the liquid pipes through it? How puts heat in its immediate vicinity? It's not you just get rid of heat, is that? I suppose. C can you physically get rid of heat? I suppose not, because if heat is the kinetic energy in the molecules in question, energy cannot be created or destroyed according to the current laws of physics. So presumably, then there is no way to destroy heat. You cannot stop heat being a thing. You can only make 
less, or move it, I suppose, like disperse it from one place to another place. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> if anybody knows anything about like physics and thermodynamics, they're probably listening to me whitter on and thinking, how are you this dumb? The answer... The, the answer is, is I don't really know. <laughs> I prioritise learning maths and social sciences over learning the physical sciences, alright? I've never been good at mathematics, forgive me. Yeah, I mean, I've never been good at um, physics, forgive me. No mathematics. Okay, this has been... <gasps> Oxygen? There's oxygen in there. We did it, kind of. We actually did it. The trap worked. The, the, the trap worked. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh my word. They've actually got oxygen, which means they're not going to be disturbed as they go to bed. Oh gosh. I don't believe that. That's crazy, that is. This temperature's still going up. Oh, we've got some more coal. Um, did our coal resources go up again? We've got five tons of coal. What the sub was that voice? I haven't got a clue. Sorry, I'm getting excited. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's a bit more coal, though. We should get that. We should get that, we should. Um... One, one other little thing I want to say, just, just a completely random uh, point I want to make. The performance of this game has been shocking. Like, this game has never stuttered, it's never crashed, it's never had any problems whatsoever. Which, in my experience of games like this, is impressive. There are so many games like this that really do not perform well because they overreach themselves. They try to do lots of things really well, and they so often do things really well, I love these fireballs, these fireballs are fantastic. I'm really thinking about building one on this side as well. We just require the moving of all these terrariums. Which would be a bit of a pickle. Wouldn't be not doable, it would just be a bit of a pickle. But I'm probably going to start with bits of, of getting that done. Um, in fact, if I reactivated this one and this one, I could then deactivate these. In fact, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to set this one to be deactivated. Disable this one and disable this one. Reactivate this one and then reactivate that one. There we go. Um, yes, this game has performed like amazingly well. It has really, really surprised me how well this game has performed the whole way through. It has never had any problems which, personally, I think is incredibly impressive. Mm. This is something I never realised was here before. Sorry, let me move my big fat face out of the way for you. There we are. That's a bit better. You can actually see what I'm talking about now. I didn't realise this was here before. I think you can give people specific jobs. So who's who's the best who's the best painter? Um, is there a skill for decor? Art fundamentals. We'd have anyone with art fundamentals. Does anybody have high creativity? How do I find that out? Let me pause this for a minute because this may be a, it's not a turning point. Don't get me wrong, but it might be something of interest. Oh, oh, you can even get better. Oh, I'm so stupid, honestly. There's so much information here, I never even looked at it. Um, schedule, no, not schedule, we'll come back to that in a minute. How do I find out if people have creativity or not? Oh, I suppose I need to look at them, couldn't I? Bio skills. Um, you have a creativity of zero. You have a creativity of zero. 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 Everybody has a creativity of zero. Hmm. Okay, so we shouldn't prior... Okay, so what I was thinking is we could start getting some decor, because there are paintings, I think, or something. On oh, no. there. Blank canvas. Requires metal... Oh, requires fibre. 
Well, there goes that idea. I was thinking we could put some paintings up in different places in order to try and improve decor. Like here, for example, I was thinking we could put a couple paintings here, because then when people are standing around at research, they'd be in a high decor area, which might improve things. I don't know. Maybe it would. Maybe it won't. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. But no, we don't have fibre yet, so fibre is a, is a severe problem for us. Okay, let me get back onto the whole uh, metal refinement. I mean, is this is th is this stuff doing better now? Yeah, look, current load one thousand, potential load twenty thousand. What more do you want from life? Okay, so I think, with the exception of the fact that we're running quite low on coal in reality, but there's more coal up here, and we're starting to push into this sort of area, which might have. <gasps> and there's ice up there as well. Fantastic. Um, right. Okay. Last thing we're doing this episode because we've been going longer than I thought we were, but never mind. Um, I don't know why I'm building all the way over here, but I am for some reason. What else does this do? Liquid intake, liquid output, duplicate operation, uh, produces heat, reduces decor. Okay, so it needs plumbing, 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 plumbing. Oh, hush. I'll come back to you in a minute. Actually, let me pause this while I think. No. no! No, 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 Phil, what are you doing? Yes, no, yes, no. Um, I don't know. Because <laughs> if I, if, if I attach the inflow, because it takes in good water, it takes out bad water. If I put in it from here, it'll only take freshly made water, or I could connect it to this pipe, which would be less efficient, because we'd need a longer pipe, much longer pipe. But then it would still get it when this isn't operating. Would that be a good idea? I think that would. I, th I think that's just safer, because then it means it's not dependent on something else. And in my experience, the less dependent you are on one thing, or rather the more dependent you are on one thing, the more likely that thing is to break at the very worst moment. So let me prioritise all of all of this gum. Max. Whenever I roam through stress, somehow it's always you, ain't it, Max? Oh, well, never mind. It's probably going to produce a lot of heat, though, isn't it? No liquid intake, no power wire connected, no liquid output. Uh, awaiting coolant. Coolant? Coolant? What? Waiting coolant? What coolant? Oh, right, okay, sorry, you're just talking about you need something to be in your reservoir. Okay, that's fine, just... Give the pipe time and the pipe will be made for you, I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. Whee! Look at how far they go down there, so cute. Right, okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I'll, I'll stop swooning over them for five seconds. So, yeah, we've got these canvases, but they require fibre. How do we make fibre? Hmm. That might be something interesting to invest in later. I don't know where, where or how, for that matter, you produce fibre. Because fibre is necessary for some of the more advanced construction materials, and I don't know how you make it. Create solar from water and carbon dioxide. Hmm. Huh. I can literally feed them soda. That I did not predict being a thing. Um, I don't know. I don't know where you build fibre. So that is going to have to wait for the time being. I will try and figure that out at a later point. Uh, never mind the decor for the time being. Let's get on to researching these more advanced pipes. And we'll leave it at that for the time being. But I think... I'll let them go just so there's something to look at. I think we are making progress. I know we've run out of ice. But there's ice up there. Which shows me there's also water up there. It's also very cold up there. Which means that hopefully our temperature problems might be slightly mitigated in terms of having to cook through, uh, dig through this. But there's lots of coal up here. There's lots of coal, and there's lots of phosphorus, which is, which is, uh, I'm shocked we haven't run out of phosphorus recently. Uh, how much phosphorus do we have? Oh, we've still got another five tons of it. Okay, I guess this doesn't consume us half as much as I thought it would. But never mind. Never mind. I think, but slowly, um, maybe we ought to harvest that. Please, yes, please. Why not? I'll have that for free, why don't we? I think we're making progress. We've, we've shortened commutes. 
We're solving the power overload problem. We got ourselves some more coal. We're doing better research. We got some new folks. We solved the CO2 problem down here. We're getting some refined metals. We've got more food. We got plans for the future. I think that for once this has not been an utterly disastrous episode. Stress is going up purely because of Max. Poor Max. What's going on with Max? Oh, you're wet as well. Oh, and you've got some heat. That's because you're doing jobs in here, isn't it? Well, never mind. Those are done now. Which is nice. And this is filling up with water, hopefully. And hopefully it's not going to keep filling up with water. Hopefully it's just going to fill up with water. Can we at least see this going? I'd like that be a little crescendo to the episode. Okay, what do I want to make? Copper ore or iron ore? I don't think we've got any iron, do we, currently? Let me quickly look this up. Sorry, this episode will be going off a donkey's ears, won't it? Uh, yeah, we've got coal... Where's our copper? Metal ore. Oh no, 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 I do stand corrected, we do have, we do have some iron, but we've got much more copper, and iron may be something that we need later, and we're just making a general refined metal so we can make refined stuff, so we're going to make this basically forever, um, only on a priority 5, 5 priority 6, just a bit, just, just some, I reckon, um, so hopefully, Hopefully we should start to be making a bit of progress in stuff, I hope. Okay, so, thank you very much for joining me this evening on this... I was going to say this crazy adventure, but actually it, it hasn't been that crazy. We're finally starting to make some progress. This is starting to get a bit full though. I kind of wish I could make a more efficient one of these, or a fast one of these. I might build a second one of these actually at some point, so that we can have twice as much going on at once maybe. I don't know. But, um... Hopefully, we are starting to make some good progress. Hopefully, things are starting to work. Um, thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. Look after each other, and good night.